Hi Plitter Plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and today I am going to be bringing you guys a Pride Creator Sim. Happy Pride Month to everybody who celebrates. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And I thought to celebrate that I would do a Creator Sim. So these are two best friends. They are Piper and Frankie and they are really close and they've been friends since childhood and they have really cool backstories on why they're friends and oh, I just I can't wait to get into that into a second into that into a second that's not a word is it I don't know I'm in a bit of like a weird kind of mood today I just can't speak so if I speak gibberish like I did a second ago that is why but I do adore these sims I think they are so stunning and I love them and I think they're like really in depth and yeah <laughs> I love these two sims they are both on the gallery under my origin ID real plumby and their custom content links including their tray files are all linked in the comment section down below now without further ado let's get in it to I guess these two sims. We are creating Piper first and Piper is a non-binary and they use they slash them pronouns and they are also pan and I think they are so adorable. I really wish I did all the other outfits. I only did the everyday wear for both of the sims because I'm lazy as they come. So I was kind of thinking you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make two sims and do all their outfits since I would just get so bored. <laughs> So I only did both their everyday wears, but either way, I think they like have a cool style just from doing the everyday wears. <laughs> but I love Piper's style. I think they definitely do dress in lots of pastel colors. I think Piper and Frankie kind of have like a similar style. I did kind of go ham with like the pastel rainbow colors. But that's kind of what I wanted to do with their outfits. It's kind of the theme of the creator sim. At first, I started going with this like a long kind of a wavy kind of curly hair by R Arthurby. Arthurby, I'm not sure if I'm saying their name correctly. They're a lovely CC creator and I love that hair. Midway through I tried on this kind of like short hair. I'm not sure what you'd call it. It kind of reminds me of like an emo teenager kind of haircut. You know that kind of stereotype and I think it's awesome. I just end up going with that in the end. I went with these really cute glasses by Line Sims. They're kind of a little bit like see-through. I forgot the word but they look really cool I love how they look and I went with a really cute outfit I went with this like hair bear top and there was actually a pan flag on it and I just thought that was completely perfect so I went with the a care bear top which is like really adorable and I just went with some white jeans and some bunny sneakers because that is cute so yeah I only did one outfit for Piper but I think it really does explain like who they are and what their style is and that makes me really really happy and they are actually really stunning too like whilst I was making them I was like oh my god this sim is absolutely gorgeous. What am I like? What? I want to do a new let's play. <laughs> Do you ever like make a sim and then like you want to do like a let's play on them or you want to play with them or you want to start a legacy with them? Do you ever do you ever get that? You know, is that just me? I, I don't think it's just me, but yeah, I just I love Piper. Oh my god, I love their name too, like Piper. Like isn't that like the cutest name ever? <laughs> Anyways, so let's get a little bit in to Piper's personality. They are a computer whiz. They are actually currently, I would say, in I'm gonna say uni and they're currently studying, I would say like production design. Oh my god, is that what it's called? They're into like movies and movie production i would say maybe like part of the editing <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry can you tell i know nothing about that but i would say they're currently doing a degree in university to do with you know movie editing because i think their goal is to like edit movies and that's kind of what their career choice what that is the career choice that they want to go down so they're kind of doing a degree in that i do apologize i don't know what that would be called <laughs> i'm completely clueless but i think they are pretty good with computers and they are also a big geek so they do like love video games they were kind of tempted to go down at the path of maybe doing like coding and game design but they thought they just enjoyed editing so much and like the idea of like I guess editing movies and getting into that whole kind of career choice was like much more appealing to them but they also like a huge video game fan they're a huge geek they're also really clumsy <laughs> I don't know I don't know why I thought of clumsy just as I was picking out the trades I was like Piper has to be a clumsy sim they're definitely quite clumsy and they're also a bookworm I'd say they love books I think their favorite book genre would probably be fantasy which is kind of my favorite to you and I think me and Piper are kind of similar you know when you make a sim that's similar to you and you're just like oh I'd love to be friends with them I think Piper would be like an awesome friend for you so if you want to like get a cool kind of geeky friend you know <laughs> add Piper to your games I think they're perfect for that but I would say their favorite book genre is fantasy I wish there was in the likes and dislikes I hope they add like your sims's favorite book genre I don't think they have done that in any of the sims game but I think that would be really cool if we got like, like and dislikes for foods and also like and dislikes for, like a book genres that would be awesome please <laughs> 
<laughs> if anyone on the sims team whatever is watching this please add that to the likes and dislikes i want it please <laughs> and they're also a vegetarian i just got the vibes that they were vegetarian i think they are definitely very conscious of you know the planet and they definitely do have a big love for animals and i would have given them a, like a vegan trait if i could but they are very like conscious i would say they are probably an animal activist in their spare time or you know they do animal activism in their spare time and they are just really like i guess um conscious of the environment and so i thought like vegetarian kind of fit that and they are also very 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 outgoing they love meeting new friends and they're just really really bubbly so that's kind of piper i like adore them i think they're just the coolest person ever i think they're really in depth and actually uh their favorite music is s pop music and i think that's maybe pop music too i think i just went with s pop music for their favorite music um but i forgot the rest of the likes and dislikes i picked but that is piper i hope you guys like them i'm actually obsessed with them not only are they like completely stunning but i think they have they, they just seem in depth you know they seem like they'd be an awesome friend and just an awesome person in general so now we are moving on to creating frankie which is piper's best friend ever and frankie is a bi and he is honestly like the cute sim i've ever made i'm like so proud of myself because i was kind of debating whether or not i should make a guy sim because uh, i don't like making guy sims and i can't make guy sims but i think frankie he turned out absolutely amazing i'm like so proud of how he turned out like oh my god do i love this sim i do love the sim <laughs> i love his style i once again i went overboard with the, the pastel rainbow colors <laughs> but i think he looks so cute and i love the hair i went for lots of pinks lots of blues lots of greens lots of like pastel rainbow colors similar to piper but yeah he is a really awesome sim i like i love the hair i went for like one part of it is like this kind of purpley pink or the other part of it is this very like bright vibrant pink which i think is really cool it also went with this really cool kind of jumper which is like a mix of these pastel colors which i just thought fit him so well and yeah i just i think he has like such an awesome kind of style and like genetically too i think he's like really cool looking like i think i did quite well with uh, making how he looks like i think he looks quite like attractive usually my male sims come out looking like potatoes like i'm not even kidding actual potatoes and i think he turned out quite good which makes me really happy i'm like proud of myself i made a cute guy sim <laughs> someone thank me well i don't know why you'd thank me but give me a pat on the back because you know i usually make really bad guy sims oh wait, you may think frankie looks ugly but like how could you i love this sim <laughs> but i do think he does look like really adorable and yeah i, lo I love him i love him, love him oh i also gave him so many like freckles i know do that with lots of my sims i think freckles really suited him so i gave him a lot of like loads of freckles loads of freckles like a big amount of freckles because freckles are beautiful and i love them if you've been here for a while you know that like i love freckles and i envy you if you have them because <laughs> i want them but yeah, i think, think freckles are beautiful and let's actually get into a little bit about frankie's kind of traits so his aspiration is to be an artist i think i can't remember what it's called but he is uh, really wants to get into like art he loves painting and i would imagine he's also in uni him and piper at the same age and he is currently i would say studying some degree in arts and i would say specifically kind of painting he is a really creative he is all creative like all around um some of his skills are like piano singing dancing he is very very good at singing dancing all of that stuff but i think he's just he's very artistic i would say in like loads of ways but i think the main thing is painting for him but he is really good at like dancing as i said singing playing the piano and he really does love like music and all of that stuff and that's like a definitely a big hobby of his I gave a music lover he's also a goofball i think he's very good at telling jokes very charismatic in that kind of area and he is also uh, an insider he loves hanging out with people but he prefer hangs hanging out with like people in his kind of friend zone um if you will like in his like friend group not friends <laughs> friend group <laughs> in his friend group he likes hanging out with people in his friend group and i think piper they like to meet like new people all the time and are always trying to find new friends whilst frankie is pretty outgoing but he prefers to be hanging out with like people he's already he already knows if that makes any sense <laughs> and he's also an art lover which i think kind of made sense a lot so that's kind of both of the sims i made today and i know i spent a lot long time explaining both of them but i just i love them both so much i just I had to like <laughs> talk to you guys a lot about them but i just i want to quickly talk about kind of how they met and why they're best friends because they're not just best friends for no reason they are best friends for i think of course a lot of reasons but i kind of want to get into why they're best friends and kind of their 
backstory. So they both grew up in a very kind of, I would say, conservative, small, very close-minded town. And there really wasn't anyone else around in the LGBT kind of community. And, you know, I think they kind of met each other and kind of realized they were kind of the only ones in the, I guess, whole town that were part of that community. And I think when they kind of met, they're like, oh my God, this is so exciting. And they do have like a lot in common as well. But I think one of the main reasons is they were always kind of like the outsiders growing up, which is like really, really sad because they're such like lovely people. But I think now they're in university, they're not anymore. But I think growing up in their town, they definitely were seen as outsiders. And I think that's kind of why they bonded. And they actually have been friends since I would say they're about the age of eight. So, you know, <laughs> which I think is pretty adorable. So, yeah. And they've always, they've always just like really been there for each other because I think their families were very unsupportive and they kind of, you know, both had, both had unsupportive families and they were just always there for each other. Like if one of them needed to ever vent, if they were having like an issue or something, the other one would always be there to listen. And they just have like such like a lovely, strong bond, which I think is actually amazing. And they decided to go to uni together. And that's kind of, I guess their, their little backstory. So that's kind of why they are really close. And honestly, I think it's just so wholesome. Uh, I actually recorded another creative sim with three sims in its stead. And I accidentally lost them. I accidentally deleted them. Whoopsie. <laughs> I feel bad about losing those sims, but I wouldn't have created these two if I didn't lose those sims. And I honestly feel more connected to these two sims and their backstory and how they met and how, you know, who they are individually. That I'm really glad that I uh, accidentally lost those other three. But yeah, I, I love these sims a lot and I hope you guys like them too. I hope you're content with today's creator sim. I definitely am. I just, I really love these sims and I hope you guys do as well. Let me know what you think of Piper and Frankie in the comment section down below. I hope you have a lovely, lovely pride month. So if you guys did enjoy to not forget to leave a like and subscribe would love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video bye, -bye. A quick thank you to all of the channel members. Thank you Ace, Kristen, Candy Crossing, The Mint Plum Bob, Tokatee, Florida, Michelle Monroe, Nanny Bay, Viviana Elise, BBC Games, Crystal Stephanie, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Melody, Cookie Monster, Naomi Innie, and Gianna Hicks. I really do appreciate it.